954. Ryan Nelson and the D-backs at plus 145. Logan Webb and the Giants at minus 165. Total of eight with a little bit of juice to the under at minus 115. All right, B-Dub, here's another one, right, where you look on paper and you're like, look, Logan Webb is better than Ryan Nelson. We all know that. But then you look at the Diamondbacks' history. This projected lineup today for the Diamondbacks has been really good against Logan Webb. Uh, 33 of 105, a 314 average. That's a pretty big sample size, 105 plate appearances for a projected lineup. That's one of the larger ones. <laughs> That's what she said that you're going to see. I think the Diamondbacks, even though I do have it priced uh, in favor of the Giants, Giants, Giants minus 196, I'm not as sold on Logan Webb here. I ended up taking Logan Webb under four and a half strikeouts at plus 114. He's In his four starts this year, he's gone over twice. That was against the Dodgers, who were striking out at an alarming rate for as good as their offense is. The Dodgers strike out a ton. The Diamondbacks have actually struck out the fewest in baseball. He just had three strikeouts against the Padres in his most recent game against the Rays, who strike out much more than the Diamondbacks do. He only had four strikeouts in seven full innings. So I'm going to take a shot here on the under four and a half Ks here, and I'll take it at the plus money at plus 114. What are your thoughts here, Diamondbacks, Giants? It's a pretty good play, Kyle, because I was I was really surprised. Uh, when I took a look at Logan Webb's adjusted strikeout percentage last 150 plate Not appearances, great. it's really low. It's like in the 10th percentile. I thought that was mm-hmm. super surprising to me. Uh, 17%. Uh, and actually, Nelson has a higher strikeout percentage. You know, I've got the game priced minus 120, Kyle. I think that this mm-hmm. is a good opportunity to play the Diamondbacks. And uh, I, I decided to go ahead. And this is I thought this was a pretty good price. You got you got your Diamondbacks plus one and a half. You got your Cubs plus one and a half and a parlay. And it pays plus 124. I thought that that was a that was an interesting play on a on a tight card. Uh, and so when you look at the offenses here, I, I, I like this Diamondbacks offense. I've got them versus right handed pitching fifth. Uh, you know, 110, 10% better than average. And then the the, the Giants, uh, same same split versus right-handed pitching 17th. So I think we get a, a, a pretty decent advantage there offensively. Um, yeah, the, you know, and, and, and I mean, in all honesty, Kyle, like I don't want to play these on Thursday. I've, I've said this before on the show. I don't want to play like Tampa Bay, I don't know, Boston Parlay. And then lose one and be pissed off all the whole day. So this one I can anticipate, hey, we're going to go. We get we got the Diamondbacks. I can turn it on the TV. Maybe I'll be able to watch a little bit if I don't have to take the trash out or do the dishes or walk the dog. But I'll be able to watch some of it, even maybe while I'm watching washing the dishes. And so I'm looking forward to this game. I think that's a pretty good parlay for you guys. Yeah, and uh, Trevor Vandenbosch Jones does such a great job in the chat box with the stats, and he says he doesn't trust the Giants' offense. I I don't trust the Giants' offense at all. I think they're they're just hard to watch. They don't produce runs. But he gives some good stats here. Ryan Nelson's home ERA 702 and road ERA 332 lifetime. Webb also getting killed by left-handed hitting this year. 405 batting average, a 421 on base percentage, 514 slugging. Uh, the Diamondbacks are live dogs here, but I, I like this under 4.5 Ks. And it's going to be a sweat because Webb could go deep into this game. But he's just not a big strikeout guy, so I'm getting plus money on a number that he has a hard time hitting unless he's playing facing a high strikeout team. Under four and a half Ks plus one fourteen. What do you think here in this one, Corby? Diamondbacks live dogs. Yeah, it's an interesting spot. Logan Webb is a is a pitcher that just confuses me. Um, obviously, strikeouts is a big thing, but uh, Trevor hits a nail on head. He he versus left handed hitters in the years past. He's thrown a fastball that kind of was more of a sinker and would hit the spot where basically lefties can't do anything except slice it foul or, or pop it to the third baseline. Uh, and it's what bailed him out a ton, but he just doesn't have it as much this year. You've seen him kind of go away from the changeup and even the fastball. I think it's called a four seam, but it looks more like a sinker. Uh, and he started throwing the slider more, which is a baseball commonality. It seems like everybody's starting to throw the slider more. And his slider's just not great. 6% swing and miss on the season. It's the lowest of his career. He's not trying to strike out people. The crazy thing for me is he has the same war right now as Tyler Glass now, yet he has almost twice as little uh case per nine like he doesn't care to strike you out he's just trying to put the ball in play and it's going to show up on the expected stats like his xcra was like five or something it just looks awful but i do think that it's more of a on purpose logan webb knows that he doesn't have the the sinker that he used to has and now he's just trying to get soft contact 16 percent hard contact rate which is great um uh, i think logan webb's decent i don't think he cares to strike out so i do like to bet uh, i actually shaded towards the giants in this game 
Um, but the price, I just, I, I'm not running to the bank to to buy some giant stock at all here. Yeah, and Ed Bless asked the Giants double result here at plus 120. And according to the model and the way I have it priced, yes. But for me, if I'm really doing, I would go the other way and take the even bigger plus money on the Diamondbacks because I do think they're live dogs today. And Ryan Nelson is starting to show some improvement. He was real bad last year. There's no doubt about it. But you look at his last couple of starts, and I know it's just a smaller sample size, but he's pitched 11 innings. He's looked pretty decent. He's able to get into the sixth and, you know, go through five and six in his last two starts. He doesn't profile horribly a 760 weighted OPS. Last year, he had one really good start against this Giants lineup. For me, it's too many red flags, you know, and look, when it comes to women, I never pay attention to the red flags. I'm colorblind. We all know that. It can be crimson, dripping, bloody red. <laughs> Fill in your jokes there, and I will take it. But when it comes to taking baseball, especially the Giants here, I'm a little bit iffy on it. I would I would take dog or pass on this one and go for the extra plus money on the Diamondbacks. But for purposes of the show, the second leg of the base winner parlay, with the Cubs alt line plus one and a half, he's taking the Diamondbacks plus one and a half and parlaying that together at plus 124. And I'm taking Logan Webb to go under four and a half strikeouts, and that's sitting at plus 114.